Recently, we made a video talking about the five things you need to know to make the most from your Amazon ads. So watch that video if you haven't. But one of the things was the importance of having thousands of keywords in your Amazon ad campaign. So in this video, we're gonna show you exactly how to do that. How to find thousands in less than 10 or 15 minutes. The first thing I want to do is just make a distinction between what exactly we're talking about. So we're talking about AA keywords, or that's at least what we're gonna be calling them. And these are the search terms that people are searching into Amazon that you want your ad to appear for to find your book. Yes, sir. We're gonna put a quick graphic on the screen right now with a red arrow pointing to an AA keyword so you know exactly what I'm talking about, what people are typing in to find your ad. It's important to know that you can only put 1,000 keywords in every Amazon advertising campaign. So people put this mental block in their heads that for a single book, I can only choose 1,000 keywords. But really all you have to do is create more campaigns, each with 1,000 keywords. So if you, using our methods, have found, for example, 4,500 keywords, then you're gonna make five campaigns for a single book. And that will make you way more money because you're getting way more impressions way more sales, way more profit. Now with all that said, more keywords is not necessarily better. That's not the case. That's not what we're saying. But the case is more is better if they are relevant keywords. So more relevant keywords is better. If you find 7,000 relevant keywords, go with those, make seven campaigns. So of course, in this video with the strategies we're gonna show you, we're only showing you how to find relevant keywords. Now there are two tools that we use to find our thousands of keywords in less than 10 minutes and these two tools will find you 99.9% .9 of all that you need. So this really is everything and those two tools are one KDP Rocket also known as Publisher Rocket now and then the other one is Google Keyword Planner. Now Publisher Rocket is a paid tool it costs $97 we'll put a link for it below it is an affiliate link so that, that's how affiliate marketing works. That's how that you works. recommend stuff, you buy it. Okay, Google Keyword Planner is 100% free. But you really do need both tools. And we'll explain, once again, the computer why and how they work and why we supplement them with each other. But with that said, let us go into the computer and show how to use them. Well, let's do, can we do a cool transition? Not just a swipey one. Yes. <laughs> so, things on the spot. On the spot? Yeah. Um. This is all going, in the, this is all going oh, in the video. Okay. This is in the video right now. Is you it? filming the wall is in the video. <laughs> no, it's not. We just thought of a super sick transition. Here it goes. Are you ready? I'm ready. Let's go. All right, we're now sitting at the computer. And the first thing I want to do is look at KDP Rocket slash Publisher Rocket and show you guys how to use it. And before we show you how to use it and how to find your keywords, I want to talk about how KDP Rocket finds these keywords how it you. works in the back end yeah so there are really three types of keywords that it will find for you the first thing you have to do is give it a main keyword and that's up for you to depending on what your book is about is to decide what that keyword is now you could give it one two three four five different main keywords type it in and then it will give you a bunch of results a bunch of AA keywords for you. The first kind of keyword that Publisher Rocket will find for you is Amazon auto-suggested keywords. So let's say you type in dog training as a main keyword. It will give you all auto-suggested keywords that start with dog training. And the other two kinds of keywords that KP Rocket will give you are related famous book titles in your niche and related famous authors in your niche as well. Because people might be searching for example, let's say there's a, a, an author with a famous book about dog training. They could be searching the author's name and then see an ad to your book and be interested and want to buy it. So that is still the kind of keyword that you want to include in your campaigns. Now with that said, let's show you guys how to actually use KDP Rocket. Now when you're inside of KDP Rocket, you want to, you have four options here. Choose this one that says AMS keyword search. And this is where you're gonna type in your main keyword for your book. So let's say it is dog training right and you're actually gonna have two options here this is ebook and book the ebook and book results are slightly different so make sure to do it for both but first one we're just gonna choose ebook and click this button go get them rocket and it will give us our results here so first is all of the Amazon auto suggestions you can see they all start with dog training and then there's some longer tail keywords added on the end and these are keywords that people are actually searching to find dog training related books now here is the problem with kdp rocket and why we also have to use google keyword planner and supplement it with it and it's because if you look at these keywords it only finds keywords that start with dog training 
if someone types how to do dog training, how to dog training, how to train a dog, it will not find those keywords, even though they're very profitable and you need to include in your campaigns. But those are the types of keywords that Google Keyword Planner will find, but it won't find the exact ones that people are searching to Amazon. So here are all of the Amazon all suggested keywords. Now we have some famous book titles in the dog training niche, which are all very relevant to our book. And it continues like that. And at the end, continues with, there are some repeated ones, just so you know, it'll do that. And at the end, well here you can see some famous author names, which we also want to include as keywords in this column. Now you don't even have to look through this list at all. Like you really, really, really don't. Uh, but we're just showing you for the sake of the tutorial. But then all you would need to do is export it, save it. It's gonna export as a CSV, an Excel spreadsheet basically. And then you need to go back and then do the same search term, dog training, and then do it for book. Hit go get them rocket and it will spit out a bunch of keywords again. A lot of them will be repeated keywords, but there will be some that aren't. So you just want to make sure that you get all of them. In the end, we will be putting them all into a master spreadsheet and then deleting all duplicates. So if there are five duplicates, don't worry about it. It's fine. That won't make a difference in the end. And then click export again. Save now, it. Now you have two spreadsheets of keywords. And continue doing this for all of the main keywords for your book. So something else would be puppy training. And then we go. It'll give us a brand new list of keywords that start with puppy training. So there So this are. is really how KDP Rocket works and you just want to continue this for all of your keywords. Exported and do it one more time. So for this example, we'll just use two main keywords, that being dog training and puppy training. Do it for book and export. So now we have four Excel spreadsheets. Yeah. And then we need to find our keywords from Google Keyword Planner, then combine them all, but we'll show you how to do that once we get there. Yeah. Now, let's show you how to use Google Keyword Planner. It is not the first link, it is the second link. It is completely free to use, but you do have to set up a uh, Google AdWords account, yeah. I believe. So we already have that. We won't show you how to do that. Let's sign in. And now we are inside of Google Keyword Planner. What you need to do first is click this one, find new keywords, and then you just put in the keywords that you put into uh, KDP Rocket. You can do them all in one search instead of having to do them all separately. Yeah, which is nice. So this will just create one big spreadsheet. Now when using Google Keyword Planner, we will be adding a few more uh, keywords and we'll explain why in a second. So here's four keywords, get started. Google Keyword Planner, you can see right here, found 3,387 keywords related to dog training and puppy training. While KDP Rocket probably only found a few hundred unique ones. Unique ones, I think, well, we'll see after, but probably in the 500 to 800 range is my guess. So you're really gonna, you're actually gonna be getting a lot more keywords from Google Keyword Planner. So the thing with Google Keyword Planner is that it casts a much bigger net of finding keywords. So it actually finds a lot of keywords that have a lot less search volume than KDP Rocket can find, which is a great thing because while it might not get a ton of impressions because it's not getting searched that much, others aren't able to find these long tail keywords that people are still searching, albeit at a low volume. So low competition means the bids for these keywords will also be a lot lower. So let's quickly look at the kind of keywords that Google Keyword Planner found for us. For example, how to train a puppy, how to train a dog, potty training dogs. These are all keywords that KDP Rocket could have never found because it only found one starting with dog training, puppy training, which is why we have to supplement with Google Keyword Planner. And you can see all of these uh, keywords that were given are very relevant to our book. They're all maybe not being searched thousands of times on Amazon, but they're relevant to our book. And if someone searches it, we do want our book to appear. Now, if you have say 3000 low volume keywords that you're running your ads to, they won't get a lot of clicks individually, but once you put it together, it could add up to a substantial number of clicks and impressions and sales and profit. The 80-20 rule is very present in this case, where if you have 4,000 keywords, the majority of your, of your clicks will probably come from 10 to 20 keywords, like the maybe 80% of them, maybe 30, maybe 
so in that zone just be aware of that just because we're including so many keywords some will never get clicked honestly most will never get clicked but when someone is there to search it your book will be there and ready to be shown and not many other people will be yeah so it'll be easy to beat them with a low bid yeah so let us export this massive file of keywords click download keyword ideas and while this is downloading and doing all that we're gonna open up all the excel sheets and then combine them into one big one where we have all of our keywords in one place. So we're gonna do that real quick and show you guys. All right, we have now combined all five keyword spreadsheets into one big one. Let's see how many we have in total. We have 3,806 keywords, which means we'll have to set up four campaigns to run all these keywords. But first, we need to remove all duplicates because there are going to be some duplicates in here. So we just uh, highlight the whole row, data, and remove duplicates right there so 258 duplicate values keywords found and removed so in the end there's 3548 unique keywords and about, which is powerful yeah about 3300 of those keywords came from google keyword planner and about 200 to 250 of them came from kdp rocket now i know that sounds like a massive dis which in terms of numbers it is a massive disparity but the ones that came from KDP Rocket are much more valuable because they find the keywords based on the exact search results people are searching on Amazon. So they will get way more search volume and thus way more impressions. So our two lists that we got from, from each software is equally as important. Now the last thing we want to show you in this video is where exactly to put these keywords. So first thing we need to do is highlight 1000 because that is the maximum that can go in one campaign. Highlight them all, boom, 1,000 right there. Copy, then go into your campaign under keywords, enter keywords, you can simply just command V and you have 1,000 keywords in there. Then you will run the campaign, put in all the other information, and then you have to make a new campaign, put in the next 1,000 keywords, new campaign, next 1,000, new campaign, and then the final 500 in that one then you have four campaigns running on 3,500 unique keywords and that is how you run amazon ads like a boss there you go all right hope you guys enjoyed the video comment like subscribe magic emoji the video should be what uh... poop emoji poop emoji, poop emoji. Of the video comment like subscribe let me know what kind of other videos related to publishing in general of course but in particular ads what would you like to see see you guys in the next video yeah drop a comment for fuck's sakes we get like a thousand views per video and 10 comments the hell's wrong with you guys drop a comment just say hi just just say just say hi okay thanks for watching the video check out all the other ones on our channel and can you no, 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 no. Anymore. Link in the description if you want instant access to AA 2.0. Yes. How are we gonna time it? Who gives a shit? That's Dane's job. No, 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 with me and you. I was saying. That's not his job. Oh. For me and you to jump at the same time. We're twins. We figure that shit out. It just happens on its own. Alright, we just thought of a super nasty transition. Here it goes. Are you ready? Yeah. Three, two, one. Oh, we're gonna do it when he says. Doesn't matter when I say, just jump at the same time. Okay, okay. okay. I think it's easy. Just the dance it, or I'll say it. Okay, you use it. Three, two, one. Three, two, one. Three, two, one. <laughs> oh, that's not gonna work.